Perfect. Welcome to the call, guys. This is Geek Out Friday. It is March 8th, 2024. If you're on the call, welcome. If you're watching the recording, uh, I think we've got some good, something good cooking in the kitchen here for you. And who is this for? This is for marketers. This is for anybody that loves food and would like to publish their cookbooks on Amazon. And we're going to show you how to make the cookbooks with some tools that we already have, and you probably already have too. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing started. So today, what you're going to learn is how to create a cookbook in the next hour with these four ingredients. And this is one of the cookbooks I've got online on Amazon right now. And I've got it, and we'll, we'll go over how to get it there at the end of the call. But you're going to need AI Masher. You'll need Zimrider. And this is how I made the book, is with Canva. So if you've got Canva, very easy to make a Kindle book. They've got a template for you and a bunch of models, templates for cookbooks. And you, cookbooks can't be made. Cookbooks can be made strictly by AI. But what you want to do, found, is AI is very good with giving you recipes and making recipe ideas for you. But the thing that we found is if you mixed your genres, if you mixed uh, what you're trying to do, you try to niche down to a very specific topic within cookbooks, AI can do a really good job with that and give you some very special recipes. So over the last few days, I've been making cookbooks for, and I've got a series called the Couple's Kitchen. So I've got one cookbook live. I got one cookbook in review. I got three cookbooks made. I just need to edit them and check everything. And I kind of show you the workflow at the end of the call, how we get all this done. So let's go ahead and before I do this, I'm going to hop into, Zen, uh, into AI Masher and show you what we're making. So let's go over to, oops, it's not there. So we're going to got to find the right window. I got a lot of windows open right now. Inside of AI Masher, as of today, you may see this book masher. And we have cookbook maker. Who gets cookbook maker? Everybody gets cookbook maker. I feel like Oprah today. Check under your seats. Everybody that has AI Masher, whether you're standard pro or agency, you are going to get a cookbook maker. Okay. So you would click, typically you're just going to click in here. Let's expand this, make it a little bit more readable. Guys, it's, if you're going to it right now, it's, it's, you haven't got access now. You'll get access after the call. Yeah. And we do this so that you're not slowing, slowing us down as you're making your cookbooks. Okay. So you would click on Book Masher. And if you see, there's a whole series of books that we're coming out with. Cookbook Maker. Okay. To get started, you would just simply hit add. But before we do that, let's take a look at some of these. I have fit and fast after work dinners for two. Very kind of niche down. I want healthy fit dinners that can be made really fast and only for two. So let me just show you. I'm going to go in and hit, click edit. This is the, the recipe idea maker, but down here, we have the cookbook. Now, this one's already done. So here's the original input that we imported in. But let's take a look at the cookbook. Now, when we import it back in, I'm, we'll show you the step-by-step -step on how to do it. We're going to break it down into different sections, OK? This first section is desserts. And now, hopefully, everybody will stay with us because I'm sure you're going to be hungry by the end of this call. So this is, I've got about 10 recipes for desserts that are, can be made fit. I don't know how healthy avocado chocolate mousse is, but let's take a look. We got a good image, which was made inside the cookbook. We have a, good, a very good description. Ingredients, this serves four Two ripe avocados. We've got all the ingredients. In, in fact, I even put in here grocery items needed, preparation. 
And here's some expert tips. Serving suggestions. What do you pair this with? A light and fruity red wine or a cup of espresso for a delightful contrast. And this is really nice here. Nutrition facts. Now, these are probably estimated, but AI does a decent job with it based on your ingredients. And we close it with an image. So when we build images, we build four images. So we're going to give you two of them on this one recipe card. Keep on scrolling down. Now we have berry salad. That actually sounds healthy. And it looks really decent. Grocery items needed. Preparation, expert tips, serving suggestion, nutrition. Here's the second image. No baked peanut butter oat bars. Oh, these are great. I've actually had these before. They're really good. So we've got about 10 recipes on this particular chapter. We can go in and appetizer, side dishes, gluten-free. We make all these for you, okay? When you finish your cookbook and you're ready to take it over to in, into a Google Doc or into Microsoft Word to publish for Kindle, is you would click View Entire Cookbook, and it's going to compile all those chapters together. And here's how easy it is to get into a Google Cookbook or into a Google Doc to make a cookbook. You would simply just click your cursor anywhere in here, hit Control A and Control C, and that copies it. And then you can paste it directly into a Google Doc. So I'm going to do Control C. Come up here. Now it's a big document because we got a lot of pictures in here. And I'm going to paste it into a Google Doc. And it takes about five minutes to load all the images. So I'm going to paste it here by hitting Control V. And you'll see it's it's going to put everything in here and we'll start building. Okay. I've got the navigator, the outline turned on, and I'll show you at the end of the call what we're going to be doing with it. So very easy to make this cookbook, all you do is you will import it, run your AI credits, and select which model you want to use. And I want to use the AI Masher graphic engine, okay? Where do I want to save them? I would put in here, I, I don't know if I have a menu, AI Fit and Fast, After Work Dinners. Now, this one's already in there, so I'm not going to do it. But the graphic engine model is going to be at the very bottom cookbook model. We made a very special image model maker that makes these incredible food photographs for you. It's all right in here for you. You'll select that, select your file, which comes in off SimWriter, and import it. We do the rest. Very, very easy to do. So... Let's go into more of the, let me show you the recipe and kind of how we're going to get started with this. Okay. So here's the easy way to make you an expert at cooking. So this is the workflow that we've got set up. First, it's you. And I, I point this out because you've got to determine where you're going to be. I would not recommend making an Italian cookbook or a Greek food cookbook. It's very easy to do with these tools but everybody's made those. So start thinking in terms outside of the box. Well, that's, we're gonna go in, I'm gonna show you a little trick on how to do that. Okay, so once you find your niche, you're gonna go over to AI Master and you're gonna create a recipe idea book, okay? Using that same cookbook maker. You're gonna take the recipes, you're gonna put them in ZimWriter under his new text discombobulator. And you're going to use a special prompt that I'm going to give you to do all this. Okay. Then it's going to run. ZimWriter will run this in about, I want to say it takes with, if you're doing 10 recipes per chapter, and we got eight chapters, you're going to have 80 recipes. It's going to take probably anywhere from um, an hour to, to two hours for it to cook your book inside of uh, ZimWriter. And that's using the GPT-4 Turbo. Now, what is the cost of it? Well, ZimWriter estimates the cost being, if, and I've run quite a few of these already, about $2.80. Very affordable. 
Now, if you run it with GPT 3.5 Turbo, you're, I have seen that the ingredients and the serving size doesn't really conform to the prompt, but it's cheap. It's, I want to say it's about a dollar. So hopefully less than $3, you can use a very professional GPT model inside of ZimRider and get some really good results. Okay. Now, once you make it, Matt is doing us a special update, which will probably come out Monday or Tuesday. And that update kind of pulls the chapter titles over, but we're going to do one today and I'll show you how to do it with Google Sheets to get the chapter titles right. But once you hit the update, everything will be done. You take your CSV that this creates inside of ZimRider and you just import it directly into AI Master. But today there's one little step that I'll show you because I know you're going to be making cookbooks over the weekend. Okay. So once the recipes are made, they're in a CSV format. Now you're ready to import. And I kind of started showing you how to import it. We're going to build images for you by using the image credits that you have, or you could even use Dolly. Of course, it may start getting expensive at, at eight to 12 cents per image. If you've got a hundred images in there, you're looking at least eight to $12 more. Okay. So I would recommend use our model, cookbook model, because you've got credits for it. If you need additional credits, there's, they're very inexpensive to buy. Plus we have a, this is the one thing that we're both excited about. Our HTML editor, we got it in place right now to do the cookbooks, but we are upgrading the editor. It is an AI editor. It does blocks, it does images, tables, lists, and it has AI built in. So you can get AI images built on the fly and you can use the AI writer inside of it to tune up some of the paragraphs or to add additional content in there. Very, very good editor. It is using your OpenAI account. So you want inside your settings, you want to put it on the model and it's going to default to the model that you have. Wayne and I use GPT-4 Turbo and it does a great job with the editor. Now, it is so new that I've had about 12 hours worth of, I, it, it came online effectively Wednesday. So Wayne and I have been experimenting with it, playing with it. And I think you're going to really enjoy this new editor. This is what our main goal with AI Masher has always been. It is an enhanced publishing model for all AI articles. We want, to, we want to be able to put images in, audio in, videos in, and tune it up inside of an editor before we publish. Very important for some of the things coming down from Google <laughs> that you want to tune up these articles before you publish them, okay? So anyway, this is the recipe for getting it done. Okay, how do you get started? Wayne, any questions before we get going? No, not yet. Okay. I have given everybody, again, look under your chair. You will find the, the cookbook prompt that we're going to give you, as in the recipe maker. And we'll talk about that in a few minutes. But we're going to get some ideas here. I'm going to give you cookbook ideas for Amazon. Where did I find these? Well, I Use this thing called AI, Chat GPT, and Claude. If you haven't gotten Claude three, it is, it, it is very good. In fact, it's on the level that I would say I, I use it more for originality than I use Chat GPT. So I'm going to show you both ways. Amazon cookbook ideas. So let's take a look at our cookbook. And again, I'm going to come over here to Zimrider. Now the link. I will share out the public link so you can follow along. Post this to everyone. Okay. So when you're in here, there is, it will probably come up just like this. Okay. This is what you're interested in, cookbooks. Okay. Here is your prompt. And I'll show you later on how to put it in. It's very easy to put it in, but once it's in, in fact, just even name it just like this. I give you an idea of how to name it. 
these are some social media posting promos. You can use it, but we're actually making cookbooks here, but you might run it again through text discombobulator, the same recipe ideas, just run two, run it twice. And it's very easy to do. And then you'll have some Facebook promos to promo your book. And if you've got 80 recipes, you've got 80 promos that you can set up now inside of social media to promote your book. Okay. A cookbook ideas. This is what I want to show you on this first round is how do you get some cookbook ideas? So I'm going to click on the link here. We're going to open the Google Doc so everybody can go into the Google Doc. And here are some ideas that would work really well with Amazon. So if you combine one of these categories together with another one, you have a fused or you have a food fusion going on. So this is what that also gives you the ability to niche down inside of the categories of Amazon. Okay. So let's do, I'm going to do just some ideas here, 30 minute meals. And I'm going to copy that. And let's maybe, let's do, oh, I like this one better. Five ingredient recipes. And let's pick another five ingredients and let's put it with, go into here. I've got one more. There we go. Okay. Let's get some ideas. I'm in Claude and need some book ideas. Topic. I'll paste that in here. Well, five ingredient. And just for comparison, I'm going to copy this. Everybody wants to see a side by side. I'll show you chat GPT. I'll do the same thing. And then we'll just pick out a sampling. Well, this is not giving me what I really wanted. Let's go back over to Claude over here. Yeah, this is giving me recipe ideas, but what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a, a cookbook genre. Let's see if it gets, gives me one at the very end here. Okay, still thinking. So I'm going to go over here to Claude, and there we go. This is, this is great. A five-ingredient Mediterranean meals. I'm going to go ahead and copy the whole thing. Now is the magic time. We're going to go into AI Masher. I'm going to close that cookbook out. And I'm in Book Masher, Cookbook Maker, and click Add. Now I'm going to put that whole thing down in here. I'm going to take out the quotes. Five ingredients. This is my food prompt right here. Focus on healthy and flavorful Mediterranean each made with just five ingredients. Very nice. So now I'm going to get, come up here. I'm going to give it a name. And I'm going to come down here, and you'll see this is the chapter headings, five ingredient Mediterranean meals. I'm going to take out that word, kind of see what we're going to be doing with this. So we have desserts. We have gluten-free. We have children's food. We have main dishes. And they won't. We actually build you chapter titles based on what you put in here. Don't put an extra space at the end. You don't need it, and it will cause a little problem on the, on the readout. So five ingredient Mediterranean desserts, appetizers, vegetarian food. They'll all fall in here and make your chapters. Now, typically, I'm going to run 10. But for this demonstration, I'm going to run two. Okay? And I'm going to go ahead and hit update. Now, to make it active, simply turn it on. Okay. Now, you can sit here and go refresh. And we're actually making the recipes for you. So I'm just going to hit finish. And it will start in just probably a minute or two. And we're working on five ingredient Mediterranean meals. Now, let's say I had a series of books. How you make money on Amazon is not one book. You may only make three or $4 on one book, but you may have a series. And the series 
together, they make you more money as a book series. So let's go back over to Claude. Anybody getting hungry yet? Five ingredient, wheat and I wonder. Ooh, I like this. Five ingredient slow cooker. That sounds good. Get rid of this here. This is Max AI, and I just don't need it right now. Um, five ingredient, 30 minute meals, five ingredient pantry staples cookbook. These are, this might be interesting right here as one of our cookbooks. So I'm going to come back over here to AI Masher, click add, and I'm going to come down here. Oops. Well, Claude, I didn't, I didn't copy the whole thing. Copy the whole thing. Come back over here to AI Masher again. Paste it in there. And you could try using quotes in there. I don't, I'm just going to go ahead and take those out. And that's a better word every day. I mean, tasty meals with just five ingredients. Okay. That's Grammarly helped me with that. So let's do five ingredient pantry staples. I'll paste that there and I'll paste that up there. And if you want to change your GPT model, you can change it here. To, to generate this, I think it's less than a dollar. In fact, I haven't even looked at the, the numbers lately. Again, we're this one, I'm going to go ahead. I'll, I'll make three with this. And let's just turn it on before we even hit update. Okay, so we got another one. We got another cookbook building right here. I hit finish. See where we're at? So they're in bold. That means they're active. And right now, Zim Rider, we're doing vegetarian dishes, no description. That's the model that we're using with it. Let's just go in and edit, see where we're at. Okay, we're just about done, it looks like. Non-alcoholic drinks. Yep. Let's take a look at what they look like. Preview all. So this is what we're going to be sending to Zim Rider. Five ingredient Mediterranean desserts, Greek yogurt and honey with walnuts, lemon olive oil cake. Okay, this looks perfect. Damon? Yes. That roughly costs about eight cents. Eight cents. Okay. With GPT-4 turbo. Okay. So we've got we've got this one kind of ready to go to Zimrider. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to export to text. Did you, did you set the naming of the file? No, it'll, it's Monday. It'll, it'll change it. Okay. So I'm going to open. It's, a, it's actually eight cents with, with uh, 10 recipes per. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's quite cheap. Very, very cheap. Okay. So I'm going to save this just so I can keep track of it. I've got it in my downloads. And I just copy that there. And. By Monday, we'll have it looking like this whenever we export it. But now we're ready to save it, and I'm ready to copy in here. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring up ZimRider. Uh, well, we're done with that. So let's, let me show you step two of the recipe maker. Okay, we found the niche. We're going to be doing five ingredient niches. And we're going to build a series with it. We created the recipe. Step one, two, fill it in, three, update. Okay. Now we're going to go over to Zimrider. Inside of it, we're going to use the text discombobulate and the special prompt. And I started showing you the special prompt, but let's take a look at it real quick. So we're going to go in and put the special prompt in there. So I'm going to show you how to put it in first, and then we'll do this recipe right here. Okay. So let's go over to SimRider. Okay. We got our ideas. Let me make this a little bit bigger here. Perfect. Okay. You'll copy this, this prompt right here. And I'll just copy it all the way down so you can see how it's done. For some reason, it's not wanting to go all the way down to the bottom. Start from the bottom and work up. Okay, so I've got it in my clipboard. And I'm gonna bring up Zimrider. Everybody should be familiar with this. 
If you don't know how to do a custom prompt or put it in, you will start in Bulk Rider. I'll bring that over. Then you come down here to Custom Prompt, and now you're ready to put that custom prompt in. I'm gonna take the name off here. So I recommend that you use this custom prompt to make your first dozen or so cookbooks. When you're happy with it, then you can come in and start changing this. Guys, this took me a week to write this custom prompt here. I tried to get it down as more as the most efficient, friendly method, but I was testing it all this time. I spent a lot of money testing this prompt. So please use this first before you start trying to modify, okay? Now, I am going to give it a name. I copied that out, so foodie recipe book. And just in case if I already have it in there, I'll just call it number one. I'm gonna save it, okay? It's now inside of ZimWriter. Close all that out. I come over here to my AI vault. And you want to use this, the text discombobulator. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn that prompt on. It is the cook foodie recipe book one. That's the one we just did. Don't put anything right in here. You don't need it. And it, it will add to your cookbook. Down the road, I'm going to give you some prompts to put in here that will be at the bottom of your cookbook. But for right now, just kind of disregard that, okay? Now, I'm going to go back into my notepad. Watch every single step we're doing. This is the five-ingredient Mediterranean side dish. Or it's got desserts and side dishes. And let's make sure desserts is spelled right and children's food. Yep. Now, why do we put children's food in here? It, it gives your cookbook a little bit of specialty. Not every cookbook has recipes for children that children like. So this gives you a little bit of things that you can promote that a lot of other cookbooks don't have, okay? So I've got that copied. I'm gonna go back into my text discombobulator and I'm gonna paste those in there. Got everything in there. Now, the thing is, you've got to give it a name. So I'm just going to copy that, give it a name, paste it right in here. And you can output in non-English if you want to do this. You can start building your books in other languages. But I would recommend start off, do you a dozen books in English and then translate from our side, translate. Okay, so let it build in English and then translate later. I'm going to hit Turbo Preview, okay? If you're doing double stacking, you would enable this. But this is pretty good right now. I'm going to hit Create and Output. Now, it's got the little notification flag. It's on my other screen, but it's discombobulated one of one. So when it gets done, we'll, we'll start another one. So that's pretty easy to do. We are baking the recipes right now. <laughs> Wayne, any questions? No. Everyone's fixated to the screen. Okay. So while that is cooking, let me show you some other things you do that I want you to start focusing on, on your cookbook. What do you need on a cookbook? You need a book cover. So I'm going to pull in, let's see, I'm going to pull in Canva onto here. Okay. As you can see, I am doing a series called the, it's called the, let's see if I can get it a little bit bigger. I've tagged the series and it's called the Couples Kitchen Series, Cooking Up Moments, Two Plates at a Time. All these recipes are kind of based on small batch cooking, which probably, you probably know this, small batch is usually two to four people. And I, I, I designed my, I've got a, very special prompt because I've been testing all these that is make a small batch recipe. That's the only change I made to that prompt that I'm giving you. Okay. So please don't go out and start changing the prompt and putting in on, on Zim Rider that this prompt is too long. It has been tested. It works. So <laughs> leave it alone. Okay. So with that said, 
I've got some small batch recipes coming in on all these. So I have Fit and Fast, Gourmet for Two, Weekend Wonders, Globetrotter's Journey, and Delicious Street Food. This is the one already published. And these look pretty good. In fact, I don't know if you can see. They look great. Okay, and there's my tagging for the book series. Here's one wholesome duets, nutritious recipe for seniors. So how did I get all these ideas? Claude gave me these ideas. And Chad, it, it tried, but Claude gave me some great ideas for these cooking for two. Okay, that was what I started with. So let's go back over here. How did we make this book? I am going to copy. I'm just going to duplicate this page. And I started by coming over here and I'm going to delete that image. Okay. And I, what I did was I took one of these. In fact, let's just start from the beginning. We will take, you take this one. In fact, this is a good one right here. Okay. And this is the back cover. So you got everything made. That's the background image. So what you really need is you need the background image. And you can change all this. And if you keep them in a series, I move this around and I change this. That's the only thing I do. And then I get a good background image to go in here. So wholesome, this is my five ingredient meals. Let's do, come up over here to Claude. And this is how I would make it. Five ingredient Mediterranean meals. And I would come back into Canva. And highlight all that and paste that in there. Five ingredient Mediterranean meals. That looks good. And then I have some images that I have made. And people have been asking. So the drum all is ideogram. I'm not even using Mid Journey anymore. Although I know Mid Journey makes good background covers. These are backgrounds. These are beautiful backgrounds here. How do I make them? Now let's just go into this one here. Here's the prompt. I went over to chat. I said, give me a prompt for a book background. And this is actually, I don't know if I'd use that one, but let's, that's a good one. That's a decent one. That's a pretty decent one. So let's take a look. And it will try to put in text. And I give it a command, do not use text. No text in this photo, please, no <laughs> text. And it still wants to put in text, okay. So there's some really good emails. Okay, so, the, and all it takes to download it is, let's come over here, download, okay. Now, it gives you four every time you run a prompt. And you just simply put the prompt up here. And I'm going to copy that prompt and let's change it around. In a food photograph, capture the essence of a nutritious, heart healthy medley of plated side dishes tailored for in a visual narrative, sent food photos, various side dishes, vegetable plates. I can spell that right. Are inspired by professional chefs. No text. Okay. And heart healthy medley of plated side dishes. And I'll put in here made with five and oops, five ingredients. Okay, that looks good. Let's you got a photo on the end. What's that? You got the word photo on its own. Do you want realistic or something? Let's try that. Still, one out of four, I'm always going to get something. Now. Ideogram came out with their new version. It's 1.0. It came out about three weeks ago, four weeks ago. It, it's a paid version. And I think the basics is, what, $8 a month, $9 a month. And then the advanced is, is $10. Ooh, I like this one. This looks, this looks really good. So I am going to send this to download. Come over here back to my Canva. Five ingredient Mediterranean meals. And I'm going to upload that file. Push this over. And what do I have to do? I've just got to move the position to back. Okay. 
I can put that there, change that. I could, I, I think this will work. I don't want my name to be prevalent. I want this to be prevalent. So I'm gonna copy this, do that, do a little of that, kind of center it. Now, what I would do on this is I'm gonna double click this image and I'm gonna make it bigger so it, it shows more. Okay. Anybody getting hungry yet? Yeah. Yeah, Greg is. That's how easy it is to make these book covers. Okay. There's six, if you want to write this down, 1600 by 2560. Okay. That's the size that you need for your book cover. Oops. Let's do this right. I need to get that one in there. 1600 by 2560. Okay. So this starts, I, I could create a whole series on the five ingredients using Claude. And this is, I've got this saved, Weeknight Wonders, Comfort Classics. This would be another cookbook that I would start, Slow Cooker. And if you're doing a slow cooker, you, you might want desserts in there, appetizers. Um, you know, maybe there's a section you don't want, which is fine whenever you're editing this, you just eliminate it. You just delete it just like you would a, a Word doc. Very easy to do. Uh, but there may be some of the recipes in a chapter for desserts that you want to keep. You may not want all 10 in your slow cooker meal, but this is, this is good. Okay, so I'm almost done. We've got Zim Rider is almost done here. Now, the chapters that are coming across, they, they will, like I said earlier in the call, Wayne, Matt will fix or, or make an upgrade on your AI writer. Make sure you, you upgrade it whenever you can, probably Monday or Tuesday. But before that, we're going to have to go into Google Sheets, and I'll show you what we're about to do. We're going to tweak that CSV just slightly. You can tell I've already been doing this. Now, if there are eight chapters and we have two recipes in each of those chapters for this demonstration, that would be 24. It's going to write 24 recipe. The update that he's making is those eight chapters. We don't need a recipe for the chapter itself. So he's doing a pass through. So the chapter will come across as an H1 for your document. and. Because it's not doing it automatically right now, we're going to do it with G Sheet in just a, a few minutes. Okay. When any questions? Been a lot of typing. Branding, 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 Walt says. Make your name big. You can. You certainly can. In fact, let's do this. While I'm still waiting for the oven to finish, for the ringer to go off here, is I'm going to go in to show you that these are live. You've seen the picture. It is live on Amazon as of about an hour ago. Okay. It says it may take up to 72 hours once you have finished it. So this is a finished book. It is on Amazon. You can get it for free for Kindle Unlimited. If you will give, please give me a review, a positive five star review. Pull it off Kindle Unlimited and give me a five-star review. I'm gonna have a whole series in here. And if you wanna see what it looks like, let's read a sample, okay? There's the title page, that's the cover. You saw how I made the cover inside of Canva. There's the title page, there's the copyright. There's a dedication for my wife. She actually loved my dedication. <laughs> Table of contents. So this is what you would pull up on your Kindle, on your iPad, you know, if you got Kindle Unlimited. If you don't have that subscription, it's, it's worth the money if you, if you like reading or if you like cooking. We pull cookbooks all the time off Kindle Unlimited uh, just for recipes. Okay, happy cooking. Here's the preface. I put a note on measurements and nutritional information. I can't confirm that they're absolutely correct because I haven't made all the recipes myself. Kitchen tools. Okay, 
Globetrotter's Guide to Desserts. This is the chapter header, okay? I went into Ideogram and made this, and inside of my Google Doc is, this was the chapter, and I just put an image in there, okay? And here are the recipes coming up. This is Italian tiramisu. These images are what we make for you with those image credits. Okay, here's lavender infused creme brulee for two. A short description, ingredients, serving serves two generously. Egg yolks, heavy cream, items needed, prep, expert tips, serving suggestions, and nutrition facts. And I think I have this on the basic recipe. Once you have run this a few times in, in Zimrider and you're comfortable, like I said, run it a dozen times, and then you can start adding little sections in there, okay? So this is just the sample. This is a, a live, and hopefully I've got some people ordering this on, on Amazon. Go back to store, and I'm going to give you the link so everybody can order. Give me some good reviews. Okay. Jill asked a very good question. How do you know if the recipes actually work? I don't know that all these recipes work, okay? I'll be honest with you. They're all AI generated. AI has read from 20, April of 2023 all the way back. Part of it was trained on recipes. The one thing that I can say is AI is very good at recipes, okay? I cook a lot. So I went through some of these recipes and just, you know, are, are these ingredients normal for flan or are they normal for a, a roast, a slow cooker? So I've started going through the recipes myself, looking at the ingredients. You are more than welcome to take your own cookbook and test every one of them, okay? But if speed to publishing is important to you, if automation is important to you, then I'm going to trust that the AI is right. Hope I answered that question correctly. I have not tested every single recipe, but I've looked over the recipes. Most of them sound like they're close to what the ingredients are. But okay, this, we are done cooking that first recipe batch. Okay. Now, this comes back here, and I told you there's something else that you can do with it. So while it's on Facebook promos, I gave you another recipe in the Zimrider. Here's that other prompt I gave you in Zimrider. It is the recipe promoter for, for promoting your cookbook, okay? Come back over here to Zimrider. And I'm gonna run that promoter, okay? Facebook promos. Now it's gonna go through and create little promotional written like a foodie, a promotional about those recipes that we sent it. So now you have promotions that you can run on Facebook, you can run on TikTok, you, you can do Twitter, anything that you wanna do promotionally, you can do that, okay? And it's going to make you another series of images or image prompts through mid-journey. So you're going to get a mid-journey prompt and you're going to get the, the social. Now, you don't want to put it in your cookbook maker, okay? These are for you to run your own promotions. Wayne, any questions? Does, does Kindle allow money hooks in our books? For example, a cookbook on sweet potato recipes and I want to physically sell sweet potatoes. Kindle, what you want to put in, what you would do on Kindle is you would have links back to the worksheet or a updated version of the ebook. And you put all the links you want if it's on your website. Okay. But have a single link back to a, a medium page, a, your own website. I, me personally, is I'm going to link it to Notion, but I, I like Notion. Okay. The reason I like Notion is everybody gets in here and I'm, I'm so guilty of it is these little arrows are the magic behind, no, behind Notion. P 
people come in here and they'll go click AI detection thumbprint. What is that? They'll start dra dragging down into that. And these are called micro engagements. So we have made sales on our own products using this prompt. I mean, we're in the business to make sales, but this is also why I give away a lot of content for free is come down here and we got video training on how to use the new features in Keyword Masher. We got a lot of really good content in here and a lot of good video training, okay? And then we have our software. So if you want to buy AI Masher, it's all right in here. So I, this is the one link that I promote inside of a Kindle book. Hope that makes sense. Anything else? Can the background images be made in the media packs? Yes. But what you have to do is select the tool, the select the model that we created for cookbooks, and then do a a manual prompting and then you can type in what you want and then the size you need to pick because we can't do we can't do them that big but if you half it down and do 800 by 1280 you could do Isn't that it? or take take a prompt and go into chat gpt and let it's free if you're inside of chat gpt and let dolly make one for you yeah absolutely i mean that's that's the easiest way to get one free that looks pretty pretty yeah. decent. And well, you get you get four background images in the media pack if you did it that way. Yeah. With one credit. Okay. So I'm gonna go now. Let's go in to Zim Rider. Or we got to go to Google Sheets first. This is one of those steps that you're gonna have to do temporarily. Okay. So I'm going to import it. For everybody that showed up late. Matt's going to be giving us an update on Zimrider that will do this chapter settings for us automatically. Probably Monday or Tuesday when it comes out. Okay. But meanwhile, let's import that one I just made and click upload. So I'm in Google Docs. I hit import. I'm going to click up, upload. And I've got to pull it from my output folder. Five ingredient Mediterranean. There it is. And I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. Click open now. Okay. This is, it imported the CSV. So I'm going to do a couple things so it makes it more readable. I'm going to select the entire sheet. Okay. Come over here and go top centerfy, top justify. Make this bigger. Everybody can see it now. Okay. So the cost estimate for what I just ran on the two ingredient or the two recipes per chapter cost me 75 cents. Very affordable. Okay. But what I want to do now is I want to select, select that and I'll go all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to hold down the right mouse, right mouse key on there. I'm going to resize the rows. I do this so they're all very easy to read. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm using this to make chapter titles, okay? So five ingredient Mediterranean, I'm gonna take that, copy it. I'm gonna go edit, find and replace, find that. And this is one tricky thing and it's real easy to do. We're gonna make it an H1 markdown language. We'll replace all, done. So now I need to drag each of these chapter titles across. This is column two, this is column three. And come down here. And when, when Matt's done the upgrade for ZimWriter, you won't need to do this. Yeah. This is just for the weekend because I know everybody is gonna to want to start making cookbooks. I published two yesterday. So they're very easy to do. Five ingredient Mediterranean non-alcoholic drinks. These are going to be really good. Cucumber mint lemonade. If you've never had a pomegranate sparkling water, this is really, really good. I've, I've actually had ordered this in Vegas a few times. Very easy to do. Okay. We've got our chapter titles. I need to go in and let's just rename it. Make sure it's right. CW. Okay. File. I'm going to download this as a CSV. It's going to put it in my main directory. 
Okay, so it's in my main directory there. And I'm just gonna show you it's, it's right here in my download directory. Okay, now I'm gonna go over to AI Master at this point. And five ingredient Mediterranean meal. Okay, now we just finished the promo and we'll look at this later. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. So we've got all our ingredients. This is the recipes. Now we're gonna go into cookbook import. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make a cookbook right now. I'm gonna turn this on. Now, before I do that, let's go ahead and five ingredient Mediterranean. I'm gonna make its own little folder for all the, all the images that we're gonna create. So I'll just come down here and go add. And this makes you a, your own media pack for your images. And why would you wanna do this separate than just have AI food? Because you're gonna get four images for, for every one that we generate, okay? And now we wanna come down here and go food. Hit update, okay? Image. I see it now you're done. And now we're done, okay. Now we're gonna come back over here to Bookmasher, Bookmaker. And this is the five ingredient. So I'm going to edit this one. I've got the recipe that is, but now here comes the power. Cookbook import. Click that. AI images. Where do I want to store them? Well, that's why I just made this. So let's see. There it is. And I'm going to use this. I'm not going to use Dolly. I'm going to use this. Remember I told you we, did, we made you a very special prompt called cookbook model. Please use that for your engine model. We're doing something probably coming out later where you can build your own model, graphic engine models, and you'll find them in here once you build them. This will come out eh, probably, probably April, maybe May. Really, really cool things going on right now. Okay, I'm gonna select that file. It is in my downloads. It is that Zimrider five ingredient. And I'm going to hit import. Okay. We just imported it. Now, it is going to be cooking. Well, that's interesting. Put that at the end. That's okay. These are the chapter labels. They don't affect your, your cookbook at all. But each of them, until it's finished, they're cooking right now. Okay. So if I go into one, I don't want to edit anything. I'm going to let it finish cooking. We've got all the models coming in. You can see Greek yogurt, two images, all the placements. I'll just hit close and I'm done. I don't want to touch it until it's ready to come out of the engine, out of the, out of the oven. Okay. It finished. It is images cooking. Okay. When it's finished, it will say cookbook complete. Okay. So I'm ready to start on this one. Now, ideally, I just come over here. Five ingredient pantry staples. And I would save this. These are the recipe ideas that I want to send to Zimrider and export to text. Open that file. I'll save as. Again, we're, we're going to fix this for you by Monday. So that's what I'm going to save it as in my downloads. But now I'm ready to copy it. I copy it, come back over to my Zim Runner, and I'm ready to go into AI Vault. Now, those prompts are there, so I don't need to rebuild prompts. I just need to go back into Text Discombobulator and paste that string in there. And if you'll see, I've got Foodie Recipe Book One. This is the five ingredient pantry staples. So, okay, it's all set, ready to go, and we'll start on it. So it's doing three recipes now, okay? So that one's cooking. I'll close that, close that out, and finish. Okay, so we get one recipe being baked over in Zimrider in the text discombobulator, and we've got one where the images are cooking. We want the, the little dinger to ding and say cookbook complete. At that point, now you can put it into a Google Doc, 
like we showed you at the very beginning of the show, you open it, all the chapters all up in one, or you can go in and individually start editing each chapter with the AI editor, okay? Now, I'm gonna bring up one. This is one that I set up for a test to show you today. New Mexico style cuisine, okay? I'm only kind of using one style for this, but typically I would do a medley, New Mexico style slow cooker meals, New Mexico style five ingredient meals. So I would kind of combine things together. This answers the question, well, everybody's gonna be doing this, okay? There's gonna be a bazillion cookbooks. Yes, there'll be a bazillion cookbooks. How do you make money then if there's a bazillion out there? You've got to get reviews. You've got to be in niches that that are they're searched, but they're you're not competing against Martha Stewart for Italian food, Mediterranean food. We're doing a very special five ingredient Mediterranean meal. You've got to promote it. You don't just set it and forget it. This is one that you've got to set it inside of Amazon and do some promotions. That's why we just made all these promos. So let's go take a look at, this one is ready, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna click edit and let's go in and- oops, To the bottom. Did the wrong one, did do cookbook import. And let's look at desserts. Okay, so this is the chapter. I think this is, you know, this is one that I was kind of, I had brought in some other images and for some reason I didn't save it. So we've given you a button that says update. I would re highly recommend you use that update button, okay? Now, if you notice this, we are doing, there's some things in here. This is the new editor. So if I want to come in here and go, let's, this is my chapter right here, New Mexico style cuisine desserts. So I have a chapter intro and I want to come up here and go, let's make an image. Okay, so this is New Mexico style cuisine desserts. I'm going to copy that. And the prompt is, use the word plated. It means they're, they're going to be on plate. I know that's self-explanatory, but they look like this when you say the word plated, ready to serve. Image style but a realistic landscape. You can do whatever size here. Well, let's just do a square. And I'm gonna hit send. So this is using our new HTML AI editor, but it's using your open AI account and we're generating a Dolly 3 image from it. Okay, does that look good? Woo, Wayne, that looks yeah. really good. Good, yeah. Okay, you see how it's, it's in there? Looks really nice. And now, if you want to, you can say, well, I, I'd really like my intro to be above that. So copy and say move up. Okay, so I just moved it up there. And I'm going to come down here. I'm going to put a divider in. Let's just go back to my plus and say put a line there. Okay, you can see a line. And now it's ready. Now, this would be the first page of your chapter in here. I think there's an extra line in there. And you can delete it in here. Or better yet, go into your Google Doc when you export it, or when you import it into your Google Doc or your Microsoft Word, you can do all the editing that you want there. Now, we do have Grammarly set up in here. So you can start rewriting if you wanted to inside of our editor. And disregard that. There's the copy, lavender infused. Okay, that actually sounds really good. And you want to do a spell check, whether you're using Grammarly inside of here or you're using Google Docs or Microsoft Word. Just make sure everything's spelled because that's one thing that Amazon is looking for is the spelling. Expert tips, nutrition facts, there we go. We have a separator, blue corn. Okay. Incidentally, guys, these are the images that AI Master creates for you. This is from that cookbook model. Now, occasionally you'll see a three-time fork or you'll see something weird. To me, let it pass. I mean, if you're, fo if you're so focused on this, I would make sure the recipe <laughs> sounds good. See, this serves eight. 
Of course, it's eight slices in a pie. You can't just make one slice of a pie. AI is kind of smart enough to know that. And here's, ooh, that actually looks really good. I know where I'm going to go eat today. Okay. So once you're done, make sure you hit these update buttons. If you don't, you will lose that image that we just made. Close. Now, when you're ready to go over and you've done all your editing, in fact, let's look at non-alcoholic drinks here, New Mexico style. Horchata de Alum Almendra, creamy almond delight. Now that looks, that image just really looks good. Ooh, those look really good. Here's a prickly pear lemonade. Oh, this is great. Now, usually in the expert tips, it, it says add vodka. Make it taste even better, add vodka. <laughs> Exotic iced herbal hibiscus tea. Wow. And when you're done, you hit update and you're ready to go. Okay. Now, I'm going to hit close. Now, when you're ready, for those that weren't there at the beginning, you click view entire cookbook. And I'm going to go over here to Google Docs. This was one I made. Let's go in. Go new. Come back to Zimrider cookbook. Now, in the when you combine them all together, Wayne did something smart. He took out the update. Don't edit at this point. Edit by chapter. Don't try to do your editing here because you can't save it here. This just combines everything together so that you can do one thing. You click and then say control A, control C. This is all this one tab is designed to do. Come back over here to Google Docs. Paste your cursor at the very top there and hit Control V. Okay. Now it takes a few minutes for Google to go out and pull these images, which we've already saved for you. You can tell it's, I mean, we got 80 pages here. I'll just dismiss. Look at that. This is absolutely amazing. Okay. This is the outline. It's the H2s, H3s all coming coming back across, and this is ready to go. I will probably be doing a paid course. I may, probably for AI Master customers, you may get it for free as a bonus. This, this call is already at an hour and 15 minutes. I'm going to give you how to do this just in step-by-step, -step, but it's better to, to look over my shoulder as I'm doing it. I use a product called Kindle Create. It's free. Just type in Kindle Create. I, I don't know the link, but it's Kindle Create inside of Google. And what you do, once you have set all this up, now what I do between this is I put my cursor right there. I'm going to hit Control-Shift-P, and you can see the marks, okay? I'm going to put a page break. So I'm gonna go into each one of these inside of Google Docs, and I'm looking for Grammarly set up. It's gonna look for spellings. And at the end of this recipe, where that line break is, I'm gonna put another control page break, okay? I'm gonna go all the way down. This does two things, is it gives you better separation on a Kindle book so that this is always, it always starts on a new, page when you're flipping pages on your Kindle. But it also, as you're in here, look for spelling. Make sure there's nothing weird going on in here. You may also see the this last paragraph below this one. That's fine. It, no problem there. So you'll hit. Okay. Now, once you've you're happy with it, you're ready to go with this Google Doc. Again, you're going to save it over here first. New Mexico style cuisine. I'm going to save it. There we go. Okay. Now I have a Google, I have a Google Doc, but I want to save it, download it as a Doc X. Microsoft Word will automatically do this, but I want to export it as a Doc X. Okay. Now it is being saved as a Doc X on my download. 
that is your manuscript, okay? That manuscript is going to go into your Kindle Create. Your Kindle Create has front matter and back matter. Front matter is going to be your title page, your table of contents. And if you'll notice, I didn't make a table of contents because I'm using Kindle Create to create that table of contents. So let's go in and I'll just briefly show you Kindle Create. Hopefully it looks good on this little screen here. Okay, it's going to come up just like this. And you can see some of the ones I've already done. And let's do, I think that's the one I have open, existing file. I'll choose that one. Okay, let's see if I can get this. Okay, here's your Kindle Create. When you build this, that manuscript goes right in here. Here's your title page, your copyright, your dedication, your contents, and your preface. You get to them by clicking, I need one of these. So epigraph, I don't really know what that is, but that's, that's how you get your epigraph in there. I'll just hit cancel. So as you bring these up, and it has its own little editor in here, don't edit in here. It's, if you see a word misspelling, you can do that. But this is the right part of it, okay? So you've already seen this recipe. It's already published, okay? Here's front matter, manuscript, and these are the chapter titles. That's why it's real important to have your chapter titles because your chapter titles get put into your automated table of contents. Remember at the very beginning of the call, I said, you wanna put in a chapter title, the Globetrotter's Guide to Desserts. Globetrotter's Guide to Appetizer. So in that input section, and let's go into Zimrider again. If you remember, as we click add food genre. This is where I put that in there and it flows all the way through to your chapter, into your manuscript, into your table of contents, okay? So that's, that's where your chapter title is, but you don't put desserts, appetizers. We do all that for you but this is the, your heading for your chapter, okay? So there's your table of contents, there's all that. Now, Scott asked a very good question. How do you get links in here? Okay, acknowledgement about the author. I've got my about the author. I don't have a, a, a link in there, but books in this series, here's my books in this series, okay? Books by this author. These are other books outside of the series. The series is the cookbook kitchen, okay? So let's go ahead and preview this. Now, I'll pull this over. Everybody recognize this is a, a tablet. If I wanna set it up as a phone or Kindle e-reader, I can see what they all look like. And I'm gonna go back up to the title page, preface, kitchen, and there it goes. So we can see what they look like and we can even change the I want to see what it looks like on a phone. And it's, it's still kind of goofy on, on the conversion. Let's go back to the title page. So there's the chapter on vegetarian food. Okay, change the font. You can do all this. This is just the reviewer. Okay, now when you're ready to go to Kindle, you click this one button right here. Remember, the manuscript is what you did in Google Docs. All this you have to manually do inside of this Kindle Create. Kindle Create is free, so you can definitely afford that. When you click Export, KPF, Export. Okay, where do you want to save it? I'll just say Test. And we'll put it in there in my Kindle folder. And it's going to compile it, put it all into a format that can be read. and show file, and you can go straight into Kindle Direct Publishing and hit Create. And there's three tabs you're gonna work all the way across. You can tell I've got one, this is still in review, this is live, and I'm gonna just stack them deep right in here in, inside the bookshelf, okay? So that's really, that's the quick method of how to get it in and we'll, have to do a training later on on this and probably it won't 
Well, so if I do a three-day class on this, I'm probably going to have to charge for it. If it's a 30-minute or 60-minute training, it's probably going to be free. So if somebody that was asking about the price of it, I said earlier, it, this is not a set it and forget it. You need to promote it. So we we got a little bit of a promotion going on with Untitled. Remember I, I told you that we did the Facebook promo using Zimrider? Let's go in and take a look at it. I'm going to bring it up here just to make it easier. Import. So I, I made the cookbook, and then I came back and I did the promo. And you can see that there. So upload, browse. Go into Zimrider output. Five ingredient pantry staples. Here's the Mediterranean. And let's just do a, create a new one. Import data. Open now. Again, this is just for me to read. It costs 42 cents to do 80 different promotional messages. I'm going to highlight it, come over here, send it to the top, and then I'm just going to go down here and put them all on one page. I'll resize rows. Now, you, you don't have to do the chapter titles because you're not doing anything with the chapter titles, really. But this is the promotion. So. Sun, this actually gives you sun-kissed honeyed fig tart. Okay, if I did, if I brought this up, bring it down. Here's what the promo looks like. Here's a mid-journey prompt that you can use. You can put it in ideogram, stable diffusion. Or you can even run it back through media packs if you want to use our media pack to do a cookbook model. Or you put in Dolly. But this is from Matt. This is Zim Rider. So here is a foodie description. We encourage you to embark on this culinary journey. And at the end is you would put the link, your Amazon link to your, to your book. Okay. Honey, honeyed Greek yogurt with crunchy walnuts. Actually, that sounds really good. So you can kind of just see sun-kissed lemon. You're going to get some repeats in here, but this is just for a promotion. Now you can go, okay, that sounds good. But I really, it's too, too foody for me. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go over here. Remember I told you Claude? And click here. Write this to be less foody. Okay. So it's giving you some little icons in here. Okay. So I would, I would definitely have an Amazon link. But I would have a picture of this sweet twist of a classic yogurt recipe. I, I, would, I would use the mid-journey in there to do this. This is, this is actually great. So let's just cheat a little bit. I'll take that and let's go over to Ideogram and let's just do this here. Paste that in there. Hit generate. Tag it as photo. And let's do a landscape while that's cooking. Jill asks, are you maybe going to make this to where we can make any kind of book? We've, we've got five more planned. The thing with using AI in a systematic approach is you have to have systematic books that you can write. You know, if, if you want to write fiction books, this is not the tool for you. But if you want a way, a, a DIY, that AI knows a lot about DIYs, or if you want travel guides, the top 10 places in for musicians, the top 10 places for artists, the top 10 places for fitness people. Those are easy books to make. I mean, AI does a great job with those. So that those are the type of books that we're making. Oh, wow. This would look good on any Facebook promo, Twitter, whatever you want to do. Nice. This is this is nice. I don't know which one looks the best, but the beauty is they're all yours if you build them through Mid Journey or Ideogram. Ideogram is just so much easier than going into Discord and you know making sure Mid Journey likes you that day and you know and you're you're it's it's really funny how Wayne and I have just we we cringe about Mid Journey now is because. 
there's so many other tools that make really good food food photos for what we're wanting right here. Okay. So that's really all I wanted to show you today was what we started with. Let's go back to, okay. So just kind of a quick review. We started here, the easy way to make you an expert at cooking, how to find your niche. We started with, I gave you some great ideas about how to start your search and we're, we're using Claude, we're using ChatGPT. We create recipe ideas. We put the recipe ideas in Zimrider. We let Zimrider cook up some recipes for us. Then we put it into the Build Cookbook Maker. Okay. And we let AI Master do its work. We put the photos, we, we format it correctly, we get all the chapters ready to go, and everything's ready. And we even gave you the special prompt to use. Okay. There's how you find your niches. Go into Zimrider custom prompts, custom cookbook ideas. We use Claude 3 to get most of our ideas, create the recipe ideas, put it into Zimrider, build your cookbook. Okay. So just some ideas, healthy foods, main courses, desserts, appetizers. We make all these for you inside of one cookbook. Okay. Any questions at this point? Yeah. You guys planning on integrating Claude API into AI Masha? Yes, is the simple answer. Yeah, right now it's API is kind of in dev mode. Not everybody can get an API. You have to apply, and then it's it's just not as simple as OpenAI. Claude three kicks ass. If you don't want it to sound like an AI wrote it, Claude three is the best solution. Chat GPT with all the GPTs can get you more specific information. We're even, Wayne and I are using one called Perplexity. And if you want something well researched with a lot of different ideas, Perplexity is great. We spend a lot of money on our own tools, but we want to find the best product. When we get that API, absolutely, it's going into AI Masher as quick as we can. And we, we have the API, but you don't have your API yet, and we got to wait for that. Yeah, Walt says, I don't use Google anymore. Perplexity rocks. Yeah, it's, it's if you want to see what the future of AI is, perplexity, and, and even Google's doing it on its generative searches, okay? Somebody asked, you know, what other cookbooks? I can probably go look into Zimrider real quick. These are the ideas that we're starting with. Now, does everybody get them? Like Oprah said, check on your seat. Everybody gets Cookbook Maker if you're an AI Master customer. If you want any of these, because we're spending a lot of time and our money on putting all these together, is they will be part of the agency package. If you bought the lifetime deal, you bought the beta, or you're part of the agency, you'll get all these. Okay. This is kind of the bonus for being part of the agency, is we're going to give you stuff that you, you can't get anywhere else, okay? And, and I, I started down this, this idea here as travel guides. You'll be able to kick in a region or put in a region. And let's say we want a Texas travel guide. It's going to give you the top 10 places for musicians, top 10 places for events, top 10, you know, on and on and on. And it will make you a travel guide book for Texas. But what if you wanted something for Austin? I mean, you can narrow it down to a city. So this is where you might find cities that people don't really think about, places to avoid in Texas. Yep. Maybe Charleston, South Carolina. You know, you want to do a travel guide book just for Charleston. And you could do a series. is places in South Carolina I've visited. And you can build a travel book series around that. DIY books. If you want to do, you, know, you want to help your plumber. You're a local SEO guy, and I'm, I'm giving you some things you can make a lot of money with, guys. If you're a local SEO guy and you want to help your plumber, he could write a series of books. Better yet, you could write a series of books for him about a faucet replacement, bathroom remodeling, kitchen remodeling, and they'll be simple little books. They'll have 
you know, 100 plus pages on them, and you could publish them on Kindle, put his name in, put you as the editor, and put a link back to his site. I hope, I hope you just understood that. Amazon is one of the highest domain authority sites out there. If you want a good backlink, you can't get any better than an Amazon Kindle book backlink, okay? So you one is you're building a backlink for them, but you really want to help them, encourage them to sell those books. So this is, this is for, you know, thinking outside of the box, AI is going to take us to the next level and y'all are, Y'all are here with us, and I'm really excited about this. Any any questions I can answer? Scott Bolling says, do you need an ISBN for these Kindle books? Okay, very good question. Scott, I'm glad you asked that. When you are publishing as an ebook on Amazon, you do not need an ISBN. If you're in Kindle Unlimited, you do not need an ISBN. The only time you need an ISBN is when you are taking them to a paperback or a hardback, or you're selling in, in Nook or Barnes and Noble or any other place, they, they oftentimes require an ISBN. If you're doing a paperback with Amazon, they will give you a free ISBN number for that paperback and that hardback, okay? In the past, they weren't giving them away for free, but I went out. You can buy ISB numbers in groups. If you want 100 ISBNs, I think it, they were like $97. I mean, it was, it, they probably have gone down in price. But the, the idea here is if you want to sell a paperback version of the book across all niches or across all booksellers, you want to try to get them into a bookstore or whatever you're going to do, you'd probably want to spend a little bit more time editing it. But you will have to get an ISBN outside of Amazon, okay? Then the paperback version that you have in Amazon, use their own ISBN. Change title, change the front covers, you know, make, make, it, make it different enough that they don't really cross over. So you'll have two books. These cookbooks, let me tell you guys, these cookbooks are great if you do a hardcover, glossy image and get a review copy from somebody. So we're going to be doing that. If you want to have a calling card to a plumbing, to a local business owner, and you want to be an expert about plumbing, write you a DIY plumbing book, put it in paperback, with your name as the author and order you about 10 copies of it, review copies, okay? Hand it off to the plumber that you can go visit. Say, hey, I just wrote this book. I know a little bit about plumbing and I'd like to talk to you about doing some SEO and helping you write books just like this. Okay, a couple, couple mind blown. I was doing this almost eight years ago. <laughs> It was not very easy eight years ago selling local businesses on writing books because I actually had to write the book. But if you can write a book and, you know, we did two books basically within an hour and a half. If you can write a DIY book for your local and do three or four in a package and charge them, you know, charge them $500 each, this is a business model for you guys. I hope you appreciate everything we're doing here for you. This is fun. Wayne and I are having a good time with it because we, we see some of the writing on the wall is you're going to have to do some things outside of the box in the very near future for SE and to do local. Okay. Walt says, does Amazon have a print on demand? Yes. Um, yeah, you can. You can. They'll print one and sell one. It's so good. Yep. It's in the same place that you can put your ebooks. Kindle, Kindle Direct Publishing is what it's called. And they make it really easy. That's Kindle Create, their free version only does ebooks. If you're going to format for a paperback or for a hardcover, there's probably some other tools that you might want to use for those. 
you can yeah. use you can use Canva and Amazon Kindle will give you a template to follow. Yeah, for for covers, but the formatting of the of the of the content of your manuscript, there's there's services out there that will do it for forty nine dollars that are w well worth it because you have to have a certain mart gutters uh, for your yeah your they they give they give you all that they give you a template and you got to make sure your content's within a certain area yeah it's it's pretty good I've I've done one book with it yeah and we're we're going to, you know, I don't know if you saw, we, we got ideas for DIYs for a coloring book. You know, there's a lot of fun, fun stuff that you can do with Kindle publishing. Yep. Any other questions? Does Ideogram have an API? I don't I'm think sure. they do I'm right. Sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll check into it. I, their new version, Ideogram 1.0, I don't know if they have an open AI, an open API for anybody but developers right now. So we'll check into it. Any other questions? When will the other book templates be available like the DIY book? It'll probably They'll probably be dripped out one every week to 10 days or something, or maybe a couple will come up once. So we, we, we've got to spend time and make sure that we get them right. Yeah. But it, it won't be very long after this. Once this is bedded in and people start using it, the others will drip out. Yeah. And, and more than likely, all these other books, we're going to, we probably won't be using Zimwriter if we can get our Claude API and some other tools in place. We may be building them internally to AI Mash. So it will be quicker and it will be formatted correctly. So you don't have to do any any special stuff, you know, inside inside of Zimwriter. You don't have to worry about custom prompts or anything like that. We'll we'll be doing all that for you, and that's yeah. that's the biggest deal is getting the custom prompts right. And they're not just the ones that we'll do internally. We'll have a series of prompts for each chapter of the book. In fact, if you if you use if you've even checked into Movable Type by Sean Vossler. He doesn't want to run one prompt. He runs hundreds of different prompts to actually write those books. And they're, I've seen some of the results. They're pretty decent, but it's also $200 a month. And you can only do 10 books a month with it. Yeah. Yes, Walt, to answer your question. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this call. I hope you've learned something from the call. And I want to encourage everybody to go out and make your own cookbook this weekend. And once you do one, you're going to go ahead and do four or five of them. Start with a series. Think in, think in terms of the series. Use ChatGPT or Claude or Gemini or whatever you want to get in that series. So I'm, I'm very excited about it. And there's some, there's some things that we're going to be doing in the near future with advertise with with creative AI ads in these books that are just going to blow your mind. I mean, we our goal is, you know, we we want to make a residual income off book sales. We want you to make a residual income off book sales. We want to be, you know, number one book author, and you can in these really small niche categories. So, but. I can't teach it until we do it. So I want to make sure that we we know what we're doing. We can show you case studies and actual live step-by-steps how to do it. But this is the first step is make your cookbooks. Okay. Wayne, anything else to add before we leave? Yeah. I've just made it live for everybody. Oh. <laughs> now, guys, please don't complain about the, you know, it's, it's, it's slow to, to, to make a cookbook. Well, yeah, it's slow because there's 30 other people making cookbooks at the same time. And somebody mentioned, well, we're going to have copies. You know, everybody's going to be making the same thing. I, I've got a series I'm not even showing because it is such a unique series of cookbooks that we've started actually making some of the recipe, recipes at, at the house. But be creative. Mix things up. You know, 
I showed you how to mix things up and let, let the AI kind of help you. But AI is very good at recipes, very good at writing res or writing titles. And use that prompt because I spent a lot of time getting that prompt exactly the way that you need to use it to create some really good recipe content. Okay. Thank you very much and hope everybody enjoyed this and we will see you in two weeks. And I've got another special in two weeks I want to show you. Bye for now. Cheers, everyone. Bye.